Hi everyone, I'm Kim. Welcome to my channel, Glitter and Sparkle by Kim, where you'll find all things beauty and more. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the ELF Soft Glam Satin Foundation. And a lot of people have tried this and it has excellent reviews. So we'll see what my personal opinion is on this particular foundation. I'm going to review it and do a wear test for you. In many reviews, everyone has just put on the foundation, but I am actually going to use the foundation over top my primer. I am going to use a primer since that hasn't been done. So that way you can see what it actually does look like when you have a primer under the makeup, under the foundation. First, I'm going to read you some information about the ELF Soft Glam Foundation. And so you will see me looking down to read. And I have the shade 25, which is a light neutral. It's designed to offer a versatile foundation experience. And here is a breakdown of its features. Coverage. It has medium coverage. The foundation provides buildable medium coverage, allowing you to achieve your desired level of concealment without feeling too heavy. It's great for evening out skin tone while maintaining a natural look. And the finish is a smooth satin finish. And the foundation delivers a satin finish that balances between matte and dewy. So it's kind of somewhere in between matte and dewy, which is my favorite kind of foundation. It helps create a smooth, polished appearance, ideal for various skin types. And today I'm especially doing this because um, I'm over 40. I'm actually 59 years old. So this is supposed to be a good foundation for women over 40. And so longevity, it's long lasting. So we're gonna test that out and see if it's long lasting. It's formulated to stay in place throughout the day. And this foundation helps keep your makeup looking fresh and vibrant over time. It's buildable. You can layer this foundation to achieve more coverage if needed without it becoming too cakey or heavy. And again, the shade I have is light neutral shade 25. And this particular shade is suited for individuals with light skin tones with neutral undertones. It blends well with skin that has neither distinctly warm nor cool undertones. And as for skin type, skin type, it's for a range of skin types, it says, but it's particularly beneficial for those looking for a foundation that offers a smooth finish without a heavy feel. And next, I'm going to tell you about the ingredients. And this foundation is vegan and it's formulated without animal derived ingredients, making it suitable for those who follow a vegan lifestyle. It's also cruelty free Elf Cosmetics is committed to cruelty-free practices, meaning this product has not been tested on animals. So let's try it out and see. Today we're going to do a soft sparkly rose look. So it's going to be a fairly light natural look. I'm going to be using mostly e.l.f. products. The only products that are not e.l.f. products are the mascara and the lip plumper. Everything else is by e.l.f. So we're going to start today with the e.l.f. primer. This is a sunscreen and a primer, and this is Sun Touchable Woe Glow. It has a 30 SPF sunscreen in it. So we're going to start with this. And next we're using the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation, and this is number 25 in shade Light Neutral. So hopefully I got this close enough to my skin color. It looks like it is, so we'll just see here. Squirt a little bit of this on my finger. We'll just place this all over around my face. And it, again, it is buildable, so if I need to add more, I will, but just starting off with a little bit. And I am going to use, it's suggested to use a sponge or a foundation brush, and I find that a sponge gives you a nice, smooth look. 
So we're just gonna pat this in. So this looks like a nice coverage. It doesn't feel heavy. It is light. And I like that it has the satin finish, but it's not too luminous. It's just, just a light satin. It's in between matte and luminous. But I am going to put just a tiny bit more on my spots where my face gets red and that's right here and here and around my nose put a little bit more there It does seem to cover all of my uh, pigmentation and some of my redness here and it does give you a smooth look and it doesn't feel too heavy it doesn't feel drying it feels it's not too moisturizing but it is moisturizing it doesn't feel dry at all though so that is the foundation look Today I'm using the e.l.f. Monochromatic Stick and this is in Sparkling Rose and this is going to be for my lips, my cheeks, and my eyeshadow. And what I love about this is it's cream and cream looks especially good on women over 50. And then I'm going to take my finger, put this on the lips, and I do already have some uh, lip plumper on. So we're just going to blend this in. I'm just kind of going to pat that around the edges to smooth out the edges. That is just a beautiful color. Again, it's sparkling rose. Next, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil, and this is in a neutral color. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Brow Mascara. Next, I'm going to use the e.l.f. No Budge Eyeliner, and this is the eyeliner. Next, I'm going to take this e.l.f. monochromatic stick in Sparkling Rose and put a little bit of this on my finger. And just spread this on my eyelid. Just... Next is mascara and I'm using ColourPop Level Up Lengthening Mascara today. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do well, next to the last thing is we're going to put on some lip plumper and today I'm using the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Plumper. I'm 
I love the way that smells. It's like a, it smells like chewing gum. And then the last thing we're going to do is use the e.l.f. HD powder. And this is just a simple, like I said, a simple go-to look. There's nothing to it. If you want to add more eyeliner, you can certainly do that. Or you can, if you're going out, you can transition it to night and make your eyeshadow darker. Um, you can use contour and highlight if you desire to do that. But this is just a simple light look. Just something you can put on really quick and out the door. So I'm going to finish getting ready and I will be right back. So here we have the final look. And again, this is the e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. And I have light coverage on, uh, maybe light to medium coverage. And I will check in later. We're going to do a wear test. So several hours later, I will check back within you and show you how my foundation looks and tell you what I think. Good evening, everyone. I just wanted to show you what my makeup looks like. It's late evening, soon to be dark, and it's been about five hours since I've put my makeup on. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like in the real light in the daylight and I will give you my final thoughts so this is late in the evening almost night and it's been about five hours as I said now I have combination skin so uh, it's a mixture of dry and moisture and it tends to be dry around my forehead and I tend to have more oil around my nose and through here and on my chin and then through here and up here, it's generally dry. So I do have combination skin. As far as the coverage, the coverage is pretty good. I love the look of it. And it still looks pretty good considering it's been five hours later and this is me because my skin foundation fades off my face pretty quick, but not so much with this foundation. And this is a really good foundation for women over 40, 50, 60. It make a great foundation. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. And again, it is buildable. I just put on a light coverage. So if I would have put on a second coat or a little bit more than what I did, it might not be showing through this soon. But um, as you can see, it still looks pretty good. If you have any questions, just list them down below and let me know some of your favorite foundations. Now this foundation, you can't beat it for just $8. Uh, this is just an $8 foundation, so I would definitely uh, recommend this foundation. But thank you for watching and I will see you next time.